Well, incredible images sent into us by a viewer tonight. This is a part of Black Creek right here at Scenic and Tacoma Drive in Middleburg, and you can see just how high the water was. We know that the county's emergency management director is keeping a very close eye on the flooding in that area. Renata De Gregorio joins us live from there now with the very latest. Renata. Good evening. We are on Lazy Acre Road right now, and the situation here has gotten worse. The road is still closed, but I want to show you where the water has gone to now. When we were here earlier today, it was only just past that second mailbox that you can see. Now you can see it's way farther past that. And down the street is where Michelle Miller and her family live. Today, she's just been forced to wait and see if floodwaters reach inside her home. This is where I raised my kids, so it's real tough. Michelle Miller watched her children grow up here on Lazy Acres Road. Look what's right there. Now all she can do is wait to see if the rising water from Black Creek reaches her home again. We're still in the process of rebuilding from Irma, but oh, might not be able to do that. Not with how fast it's coming up. Flooding on Black Creek's north end is forecast to peak at 8 o'clock Tuesday night at almost 20.4 feet, according to the National Weather Service. Flooding was nearly there earlier Tuesday when Lazy Acres Road was closed. Clay County Emergency Management Director Timothy Devon says many people who live farther down the road have RVs elsewhere they've gone to. These residents, though, are pros at this. In fact, they teach us a lot because they have a lot of historical knowledge. If it goes in the house this time, we got to say goodbye. <laughs> For Miller, this would mean saying goodbye to a lot of memories. I love my house full of, like, kids. I just loved having everybody around. I was everybody's mom. Miller says leaving her home due to flooding from Debbie would also mean saying goodbye to the memories her family will never make. Grandbabies, okay. son and daughter-in-law. Yeah, I was hoping to have the memories here with them, <laughs> but we'll see. Just in the last hour, Miller tells me that the water is now three to four steps from getting inside of her home and that it's waist deep in her yard. Live in Middleburg, Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News, on your mm. side. All right.